poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. So, I know you saw the title of this video, you're like, Talitha, what are you talking about? You just moved here, and yes, I am moving. Mm. It's a good smoothie. Ugh, the ambience, right? Yeah, yeah. To make a long story short, I honestly didn't even plan on announcing this right now, but I guess it's part of the story, so I kinda, kinda have so I guess I kind of have to. I am starting a podcast. It is called The Biblical Baddie, and it's pretty much like conversations about faith and like your identity in Christ as like a young adult, specifically like a young woman and like navigating all those things. And I feel like I've been, I've been through a lot of things, okay? I feel like y'all have watched me go from like hot girl to biblical baddie, <laughs> and it's, it's a lot going on. It's something like I'm very passionate about and I want to speak about it, I wanna talk about it. So my podcast is launching, hopefully, fingers crossed, next month, the end of May. That's the tentative launch date. There's still a lot of work to be done. In case you wanted to support, there is a YouTube page, there's a TikTok and an Instagram. So if you guys wanna go follow those things, there may be some type of giveaway associated with that. So I'll just leave that there. Yeah, I am starting a podcast and I'm very, 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 very excited for it. To reel it back in. Because I'm starting a podcast, I was looking for an office space to like film the podcast in, right? Some of the places I was interested in were like between a thousand and two thousand dollars a month on top of needing like an actual business license and like all the credentials. And I'm like, I, I just have a podcast. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything special. Paying my rent already and then paying another two thousand dollars a month. I'm like, dude, that is, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. Like, it just isn't something that's feasible for me right now. And I'm like, okay, but I still wanna start my podcast. So what do I do? Prayed about it. And God was like, just rent a three bedroom apartment. Have your room, your closet room, and then like your office for filming. And I'm like, hmm, God, you might be on something. I start looking for three bedroom places in Houston and I wasn't really finding any. And I'm like, okay, do I need to move out of Houston? Before I even, figured out getting out of Houston. I was like, okay, well, can I even leave the place I'm living in right now? Went and spoke with someone in the leasing office and they were like, no, we have like one year minimums. If you break your lease before that, you're still obligated to pay at least a year's worth. And I'm like, that was kind of discouraging. And I'm like, well, how I can't, you know, I still wanted to start the podcast. So I'm like, do I rent office space like short term and then move into a bigger place later? And it was just like a lot that stressed me out. God told me like, he said, go ask. He said, just ask them. And I'm like, but they have these minimums in place, they're gonna say no. And God told me the worst that can happen is they say no. You don't lose anything from asking. And my mom used to tell me that too, like you can always ask. It never hurts you to ask. And then something else I live by is Steve Harvey in one of his interviews or something, he said, you have not because you ask not. Like you don't lose anything from asking, you know? And I'm like, you know what, you're right. So I go down there, go to the leasing office. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about moving into a bigger unit. I wanted to see what the process is for me leaving here. I, sw I don't swear. I truly believe like when you ask God to break a protocol, he will do so. Not only am I able to leave here early without having to pay, the lady I was talking to pointed me in the direction of some of the best three bedroom places that I could move into. I am still gonna be in Texas, so don't worry. I'm not moving back to Colorado yet plan on buying a house in Colorado at some point, but um, as for right now, we're still in Texas. I moved here thinking that this was the next chapter, but I feel like this was the preface for the actual first chapter because like, I'm just in awe of what God will do if you just ask for it. Yes, we are moving. Um, my move out date is the 15th, but of course that is when I'll be at Coachella. So these next, three weeks are going to be so stressful and I'm like kind of enjoying the calm now because it's about to heat up so fast. So today is April 2nd. I have to have everything packed by April 10th because that's when I leave for Coachella, which is in eight days. And I haven't packed a single thing. It's funny because I literally just finished putting everything together, did my apartment tour, and that was very strategically planned because I knew I was leaving. My family's coming down to help me move, so I'm excited to see them and we just got a lot. A lot to do 
So the agenda for today. Now it is 5.48. I have to return a bunch of packages, like my little cart over there, full of outfits for Coachella that did not work out. So I need to go to the UPS store, take all those things back. I need to go to Target. I need to go to, um, I need to get my car washed because Fiona is a filthy mess right now. She's just looking terrible. I need to get boxes. I wanna at least like buy the boxes. And if I don't start packing today, at least I'll have them and I can actually start tomorrow. There's um, a new Bible study I wanted to try, which is at seven. So I'm gonna like run my errands and then go over there. And then I think I'm gonna go to the gym after Bible study. That's my plan. <laughs> Hello you guys, it's a lot later. It's like one in the morning. I'm out of breath because I was learning this little TikTok dance and it's actually really cute and I think I'm gonna like actually learn it and like do it because it's real fun. As funny as it is, even though I'm about to move, I'm really out of breath. That dance, it got me. We did everything I was supposed to do today, minus go to Target, but Bible study, amazing. 10 out of 10, I went to like a young adult Bible study and I had a blast. The pastor who was um, doing the lesson reminded me so much of my dad and I'm like, dang, I think I like it here, you know? Then we went to the gym, worked out, and now we're here. Now we're here, now we're here. Back to the point, even though I am moving, my dining room table literally just got delivered today. It's still in my nature to set it up and see what it looks like. Cause like, what if I don't like it and then I have to turn it back? You know, I'm gonna make these things happen before I leave. I wanna see what everything looks like before I skedaddle. We're gonna go downstairs and get it. Even though it's one in the morning, you guys know I thrive in the nighttime. Okay, especially the way my sleep schedule been working out. We real nocturnal these days. It is 2.45 in the morning. Um, I finished the table probably like 20 minutes ago and come to realize I haven't eaten all day. Um, I just been like doing stuff, I feel like. <laughs> I was driving home from the gym. I was thinking about how like the girl diet is unintentionally starving yourself. Like I think a lot of girls, women, we really don't know we're hungry until we finally sit down and realize we haven't eaten all day. It's like never on purpose, it just happens, you know? Anyway, we finished the table. This is what she's looking like. It's so cute, except there's like a few scuffs on it. I don't know how that happened, but I really do like how she looks. When I move into the new place, I'll probably get a rug to put underneath it and then like do like a cute little dining, like um, what are those things called? placemats and like put like just for show dishes on it you know like that could be really cute and you know just tap into my interior design bag because we're in there in there like swimwear i really like it she's cute she's the moment i have been like on a salad kick so like this is my go-to 
salad that I've been making. Okay, it's spinach with corn, Parmesan cheese, chicken, and then Caesar dressing. I don't know what you would call this, that is really good. Delicious. I got these from Chick-fil-A, the little charred tomato crispy whatever. Really glad that I didn't end up buying boxes because You guys see how God works? Like, that's crazy. I was about to go to the U-Haul store and buy boxes when all I had to do was go downstairs and get my mail. And there's boxes and they're like big, sturdy furniture boxes that I can fit a lot of stuff in. I'll probably still need more, but I'm gonna start with these five, I think there is, five boxes. Probably start with my shoes and purses. Like, it doesn't need to be packed very well because I'm not going across the country. I'm not even going to a different state. I don't have to do like the most. I just need to like consolidate things so I can move them. So I'll probably like actually start packing tomorrow. I wasn't gonna set the table up, but I'm honestly glad I did because now we have the boxes. And then um, as for the rest of the night, I'm gonna eat, we're gonna watch Netflix, and then I'll probably end up taking a shower at like 4 a.m. and going to bed then, so. The following day. Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. So we are actually starting the packing process today. So I kind of mentioned in a previous vlog how God like, oh, even saying this makes me like itch a little bit. God convicted me to modesty and you're probably like, Talitha, hmm. Yeah, I get it, it it's okay. <laughs> I remember when God first told me to like, kind of wa like watch what you're wearing, I was like, that's not what he said. Let me, I'm gonna do what I wanna do and it is what it is. Probably like a few, maybe two, three months since I heard him say that and I'm like, okay, let me just listen because you know, you could be delaying your blessing because you're not listening. And I'm like, okay, God, I heard you, I get it. And it kind of scared me a little bit because I mainly, like when I started doing fashion content and I had to sit down and think that being fashionable does not equate to immodesty. Like, that is like kind of like the journey I'm on right now. That, but anyway, I say all that to say, we are packing up all the clothes I'm giving away. I bought things, haven't even worn them, okay? I'm like, where, where are you even gonna wear this outfit to, first of all? Second of all, it kind of inspired me to clean out my closet in general, like modesty or not. There's some clothes that I don't wear, I don't use, brand new tags on them just never been touched and I'm like just clean your closet out like you have so much stuff that you don't even you don't even wear for real I wanted to organize like a really cute pop-up event in Houston kind of like how Diara would do her closet sales but everything would have been free and you could just come pick some things out and you know have a good time this is what we have so far these are the boxes that the um the chairs came in from yesterday all of this stuff here all of this stuff is what's being given away it doesn't look like a lot on camera but i promise you this pile is ginormous and i'm still gonna go through my closet and like do you know a couple more swings through make sure i got everything that i don't wear doesn't fit me doesn't really fit the direction i'm trying to head in as far as like dressing but yeah, if you want to hear more about modesty, it'll be on the podcast. A biblical baddie. Make sure y'all check out the YouTube channel and all the social media pages associated with it. I think the first episode, well, I got it all planned out, but we're, we're getting there. bit later I am going to take this ponytail off out down whatever because it's so heavy y'all I don't think you understand like I don't my I have a lot of hair but I have fine hair and I don't know if my eight strands of hair can support the weight of this ponytail and it's been pulling on my hair for the past week and I'm tired of it like it's giving me like a headache low-key. I don't even know how to take it down. Look how my bundles came out of this ponytail. Am I gonna be able to reuse these again? Because they look, they look like they've been through some things, okay? Anyway, while we're taking this ponytail out, I wanted to let you guys know that 
so i'm gonna start posting like shorts on youtube my tiktoks that i have i'm gonna post them as shorts which i think is a great idea because not everyone has a tiktok or follows me on tiktok that way y'all don't miss out on anything and if you wanted more of me either follow me on tiktok or you know the shorts the shorts are gonna be on here as well the following day <laughs> So it is 2.30 in the morning. We got a lot done, like more than I even thought I was gonna get done. Let me show y'all what we're working with now. Closet room is literally just about empty. Like it almost echoes in here now. Um, I'm not taking these apart because I didn't even take them apart when I moved from Colorado. Then I need to get more boxes for the rest of those shoes. And then y'all look, the shelves are empty, bro. I just need like probably I'm gonna say eight boxes should do the trick then we'll do 10 we'll make it even 10 this I need to take all the purses out of here and then this um the second bathroom it, it's echoing that is crazy everything is pretty much picked up I just need to like get boxes to put the stuff in you know and then this um my storage closet again I just need boxes I think I'm gonna go to Goodwill tomorrow and probably give some of them away because I have way too freaking many like girl you don't need all those pillows I don't even have guests enough to have them well I'll keep them I'll keep them until my family leaves because they're visiting to help me move but yeah we just need boxes okay if I had more boxes I could probably keep going but I'm actually getting kind of tired too and then y'all look <laughs> look at the freaking living room and kitchen a madhouse I didn't really touch my room just because i'm not dealing with that tonight that's that sounds like a saturday problem you know and then look y'all all the boots are gone and these shelves are empty again mostly it's just clothes that are left y'all it's feeling very empty in here like very empty we're making very 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 good progress which i'm happy about honestly bryson tiller just dropped an album i hit play and we got to work okay but i am about to go to bed i'm getting my hair done tomorrow because baby coachella the next vlog side note will be up on monday because because friday saturday sunday our coachella is coachella and i want you guys to see the entire coachella vlog at once so that vlog will be up on monday instead of sunday but give y'all a heads up I think this is a little more stressful because i have to pack for coachella and then pack my entire apartment and then go to Coachella and literally the day I come back from Coachella is go time. We're moving. So it's kind of stressful. But then again, I thrive under pressure, so I'm really not mad at it. I'll probably go get more boxes on Saturday just because tomorrow is a long day as well. I have a meeting and then a hair appointment, which I plan on taking six hours probably six or seven hours because that's what it took last time I'm excited tomorrow we're gonna do that and i also want to finalize my outfits for coachella it's just a lot going on y'all so hopefully we can get it together the following day good afternoon everybody uh we are clearly about to go get my hair done she looks crazy i had to blow dry it like super super fast so i just got here I think I got here. She gave me a different address and like the instructions were not clear. So of course I'm like kind of lost and now she's not texting me back. Later. We are back mm -mm 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 -mm. with my hair appointment. Long story short, keep in mind, she gave me the address. It wasn't the address in the email. She texted me like saying, hey, it's a different address. She did my hair for 
St. Lucia, she did the twist and I absolutely loved them. Minus the little curly pieces falling out. The style was really cute. And I was like, I want that for Coachella, right? So I'm struggling to find the building and I'm like, hey, I'm lost. I don't really know where I'm at. She's giving me very vague instructions. I'm like, I don't, dang it. I'm trying to call her. She's not answering the phone. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. Cause if there's one thing I'm gonna do is figure something out. I finally found the place, right? I texted her, do you have a bonnet on? Cause I see a girl standing outside with the bonnet, right? She said, yes, that's me. But this is why it's so weird to me. I literally, I'm pretty sure she watched me park because it's like, a gate and then on the other side of the gate she was standing there so like if she's here there's a gate here and then i'm here i'm parking my car i get out of my car lock the car and she's gone i said hey i'm waiting at the gate no response so then i'm like maybe she expected me to go in the one who lives there is coming out and she asks if i need help and i'm like i'm looking for someone she's supposed to be doing my hair and she's like okay let me just show you like let me walk you in she showed me where the lobby is I texted the hairdresser, hey, I'm waiting in the lobby, right? No response. My appointment's at four o'clock. I am waiting there till five because after what happened with the um, visible locks, I told myself I'll wait because I still want my hair done, but not a ridiculous amount of time. Like with the locks, I waited almost two hours. After I parked and everything, I waited 45 minutes and I texted her like, hey, this is very unprofessional. I told you I was here like 45 minutes ago and still no response. So. I don't know, it just, it's weird that she saw me. We looked at each other and then she didn't respond to any of my messages or answer the phone or reply when I said I was waiting in the lobby. Like that's weird. And like, if you can't do the hair, that's fine. But tell me that there is like a lack of communication and I don't, it's very unprofessional. I try my best to support small businesses and business owners and give people a chance because like, I wanna help you succeed. From a consumer standpoint, there is a level of service that I expect. And I don't think I'm wrong for wanting that. These people be playing. They be playing with me. So now we have a hair appointment on Monday. I was not trying to have to do my hair. I guess we're rocking the natural hair for two more days. Once I left there, I went to the U-Haul store, got some more boxes, and we're gonna finish packing. I wanna do, I wanna finish the closet room, and then my bathroom, and I think that's about it. Honestly, this might sound crazy, but there's really not that much to pack. With my clothes, I'm gonna do what I did when I moved here, which was just put them in trash bags and not even take them off the hangers. My family's coming to help with the furniture, which is not, not too, it's not a lot of stuff. It's honestly just a lot of shoes. Oh, yeah. You know they say it's always gonna be a bad for some reason. I don't It is 9.27. I ordered food. Y'all, we got a little margarita. I haven't drunk, drinking, drunken, drunken love. Drunk in love. Um, been a long time. Like I've been doing so good. I think Jamaica was the last time I had alcohol. I'm like here for it. And I had like a pretty interesting day to say the least. So I feel like we can get a little, I can get a little, uh -uh. We are taking a break from packing. I'm gonna eat. I ordered Hop Dotty. Look, they have really good burgers and I guess they got really good drinks too. Cause this thing is hitting on something. Delicious. I'm gonna probably watch a movie and then I'm gonna plan my Coachella outfits because I leave for Coachella on Wednesday and then I come back and then we move into the new place. So there's like, I don't wanna pack anything that I might wanna bring to Coachella and I feel like I'm at a good point where I can like kind of piece my outfits together. So we'll do that in like an hour or so, but for now, we gonna sit on this couch. Let's get the vibes right, you guys. Let's put the lights on. Even though I am moving, I made it a point to keep my happy place. My happy place is this, okay?
okay? The living room and I go together real bad. Where's my little remote at? Honestly, it's giving bedtime. My bed a little too comfortable right now. Ooh, the blue always looks good, but I think I'm gonna go purple today. A vibe, ladies and gentlemen. We're really leaving. That's crazy. Wow, I look so crazy. I can't believe she played with my hair like that. Wow. It's okay. We're gonna put some gel in here. Slick this thing down. The following day. Good afternoon-ish, everybody. It's Saturday. It is, I think, noon on the dot. I am leaving. I'm running late. I'm always running late, guys. Let's go to this thing, this church thing. I'm like, you know, trying new churches, trying to figure out like, trying new churches, trying to figure out like if, I don't know if you can have two church homes because my church home home is always going to be, you know, my home in Colorado, my dad's church. But, you know, just trying to figure out like a church I like going to and we'll play it by ear from there. But there's like a little event thing today for like youth young adults and i overslept completely i think packing is like draining me physically and i don't realize how tired i am they shout out outfit cute right graphic tee from target it you know got the pink every time i see turks and Kekos, i think of drake he's like i got it twerking and turks ain't got me twerking and turks shoot i wish or it's from fashion nova my pink dunks and then we have gold jewelry because you know my hair is not done Love that, right? I wish I had a pink, is it on top? If it's on top, I'm gonna switch it out. <gasps> and it is, yes! Look at God, look at God, okay. Brown, pink. We're doing pops of pink in this outfit, but I think I'm gonna stick with my brown purse because I kind of like it a little more and I'm running late, but y'all know, sheesh, I feel so bad. Like, not me <laughs> trying to make a good impression on these people and honestly just showing up for God and I'm late light but it's okay we're still going so you know neptune says there's some saints that wouldn't even go yeah my point exactly but we're gonna head up it is a little later well by a little it's 4 30. i came in here and completely forgot that everything was packed and i said oh that's nice oh i hate when things look like this because i feel like i can't breathe oh i meant to go to sam's club dang it but we'll call on monday i swear instagram these ads know what type of things you want because I've been looking for like new phone cases and then I see a website called Elevated Faith and they pretty much make like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus merch. Yesterday I was in my bathroom and I was thinking about how I used to make fun of my dad for wearing like Jesus shirts and Je not make fun of him, but like, you know, tease him a little bit for wearing like Jesus shirts and his Jesus hat and carrying his Bible everywhere and listening to gospel music all the time. Fast forward, I am my father. I am Frank Jones. I always thought like, which one of my siblings is gonna carry on like the the ministry, you know? Cause I, I was like, it ain't gonna be me. Shoot, the four of y'all got that. My little brother, my youngest brother went to be a pastor when he was a kid. So I was like, it's probably gonna be Theo. Like, you know, it is what it is. It, it's probably gonna be me, okay? More than likely, it's, that's what it's looking like. But you know, you never know. I'm not opposed to it. I spent my time running from God and honestly, I just ran in circles. So ain't no point. Look at that. It says miracles from God on it. I love that. Then I got one for my other phone. Cause you know, baby, two phones, two phones. Oh, it has the fruit of the spirit. Wow, I didn't even know what that was until yesterday. I saw a girl talk about it on TikTok. <sighs> Man, I'm tired, y'all. I wanna take a nap. And both my phones are tore up. It's fine. Jamaica did me dirty. <laughs> Love that. Delicious. And then we got my phone came from I was gonna go to the mall and like try to figure out okay, okay, backstory. You guys, I'm like kinda stressed out and I might be thinking too hard about it, but I don't think I'm thinking too hard, or maybe I am. I just need help. We're leaving for Coachella on Wednesday. I thought I had all my outfits planned, so I wasn't really tripping on like trying to plan things because I planned these two months in advance, okay? In my head, everything was ready to go. Last night, I try on all my outfits and I'm like, what did I do? We are on like a modesty journey essentially, but like clothes are fun. Clothes are not made to hide you. Clothes are made to showcase 
your personality, you know? And I'm like, baby, it's Coachella, it's a festival, we outside. You know, I'm here, to, I'm here for a look. I'm always here for a look, whether it's modest or not. I'm here for a look, okay? And I tried on my outfits and I didn't even feel comfortable wearing them. I put these outfits on last night and I was like, we got we got we got to figure something out because there's no way i'm wearing this <laughs> like naked essentially and it like there's nothing wrong with that at all trust me i know because i love being naked but there's a time and a place okay and i just felt like i didn't even feel comfortable wearing what i had on that's why i was gonna go to the mall to like see if i could find some last minute things it's hard shopping in the mall period with my body type and then trying to find like coachella looks it probably wasn't gonna happen. So I think instead of stressing myself out over these Coachella outfits, I'll probably go to the mall on Monday just so I can think, have a clear head, the mall won't be busy and I can like actually take my time to look a little bit better. And then I also ordered some more things from Dolls Kill overnight shipping. For today though, I was gonna go out with Christiana cause she's in town, but I'm like, let me be responsible and edit because gosh, am I gonna talk about it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I planned on making a whole story time about it on TikTok, but last week I went out instead of editing. I still did edit the video, like it went up, but um, stuff like this is so hard to talk about, you guys. I don't know why. So I'm gonna give you a trigger warning, okay? We're talking about assault, sexual assault. So brace yourself if that's a topic you're not comfortable listening to. I went on a date last weekend. I have been dating this person for a little bit like probably like maybe a month and a half now a cool month and i kid you not y'all it was one of those things where i'm like i didn't want to jump the gun i didn't want to make known something that that was nothing to be made known of like in very serious like in my vetting process now with dating and i kid you not there was no red flags long story short we we're supposed to go on a date last weekend plans to go eat and then we're gonna go mini golfing i'm like i've never done that before he said he wanted to try it together i'm like that let's do it so he you know he set it all up i just had to show up and give me a dress code and that that it is what it is it started raining obviously the mini golf is outside so that got canceled he said why don't you just come over we could play games like you know uno <laughs> monopoly we could chill hang out watch movies like it'll be a cool time and i'm like okay at this point we've been talking for like a month month and a half month ish so like i've this is like my first time being over there like i made it very clear that i don't want to go into your living space until i can you know fill you out as a person a little better um guess i didn't do that <laughs> And, um, yeah, um, I was sexually assaulted that night. If, y'all, it, mm, I don't want to say it. <laughs> my, um, my no was not a no. My stop was not a stop. It was a let me try harder. Let me force myself onto you, you know? And I just want to know, like, what, changed and i know like victims it's never it's never our fault like we didn't do anything and even you can always take consent back you know sometimes i get into a position where i like blame myself for these things because it's like you went over there i try to remind myself that like whether you went over there or not whether even if you said yes at first or not you said no and a no is a no and for some people no is not an answer that they want to hear and that just makes them upset it's it's very scary when you don't know if someone is going to physically abuse you on top of molest you because you said no yo i was genuinely scared and i've never been put in a position like just i feel like i could have made better choices but i try to remind myself like in the day it is not my fault and i have to let that go i hate living in a society where men specifically enforce rape culture and it's just disgusting to me how a man can say well she was wearing that so she deserved it or she went over there so she deserved it like no that's not the case at all it's hard out here y'all it's real hard real difficult okay i'm not even sexually active for my own gain you know like everybody gets to know <laughs> it's not just him 
nobody's getting nothing from me, okay? Until I'm married, I don't know what to tell you. So it's just, I don't know, it feels even more, like it's bad as is, but it feels even worse. Someone just feels like they deserve it or they're entitled to it. Yeah, it's literally disgusting. Um, if you've been through a similar experience, just know that you're not alone. And unfortunately, myself, as well as other, lots of other women can relate. So pray for me, pray for each other. And we'll just keep pushing. God kind of told me that I am in the position to start dating again. Like I've been going to therapy, I've been healing myself, I've been like actually working internally. And I feel like I'm in a space to receive that. I'm not looking for it, but I'm open to receiving it, right? And I met this dude at a freaking church event, you guys. And it goes to show not all people who are in the church are of the Lord because you can be somewhere physically, but not there mentally. And you can like put on a facade for so long to fool somebody. It kind of scares me, like just dating moving forward. I'm like, do I even want to now, you know? So I don't know. We are in a season of focusing on Talitha and even if this might sound kind of toxic, I was kind of just doing my own thing. And if I met someone, I met someone, I'd see where it goes, you know? But I feel like right now, I'm in a point of rejecting all offers. Like I don't even, as much as I want to be a wife, y'all, I, I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to get assaulted again, you know? And I don't think I'm in a position where I'm not automatically thinking that's someone's intention. And it's crazy because like I just healed. When does it end? Someone please let me know. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna move on with our day. We're gonna change, chill, edit, eat. And I will update y'all if I have to update y'all on anything. Yeah. Later. We are going to end the vlog here. I literally fell asleep on the couch and it's 1.30 in the morning. We're gonna end the video with our Instagram post shout outs. In case you didn't know, okay, if you comment with a little sparkle emoji on my Instagram, you can win a shout out from me. That's really all you gotta do. The first shout out is going to Miss Mona. I literally, this week, I kind of picked from my message request because I was like going through some stuff and I just was looking through messages. I don't always reply but I do see them. So, Miss Mona, thank you for checking on me. I appreciate it. Second, we have a unique, but girl, you are beautiful. The skin is, girl, girl, yeah. And the third shout out is going to Toro. But thank y'all for sending me a message on Instagram. Um, I appreciate y'all, like truly. It means a lot to me. I love y'all and I will see you on Monday, on Monday, with the Coachella vlog. Eh, 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 eh. Peace out, I love you guys.